All right, so in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to draw the profile view of a pretty comic face. It's not a view you're gonna use a whole lot, but it's definitely something you want to look pretty. And this is something that I notice a lot of comic artists kind of fell at, at making that side view of the face look pretty. So if you follow this template, you're pretty sure to get pretty looking faces. We're gonna follow the same lines and the same template as we did for the front view. In fact, we can use the exact same circle and everything, the exact same template. We can turn this into a side view template, which is really cool because you already have mastered that front view template. And so now it's easy just to kind of tweak a little bit to become the side view template. The really important lines here to recognize is you have that perfect circle here, and then you have the straight line coming down right here. That's the same straight line as right here. All right, so that straight line that kind of cuts off the edges of the circle comes down. That's about where the eye is going to be, and it's going to come way right down to the tip of the chin of the mouth. If you get that right, then coming off right around the same area where the nose starts, coming out right here and have this kind of ninja mask looking shape here, is pretty easy. And just kind of get a, a feel for this triangle wedge right here. And that's why I, I, I imagine the curvature of the circle right here, making a straight line coming down, and I just parallel that, parallel that line over here. It's important that the nose, the lips, and mouth fall along this angle. They shouldn't be straight like this. So if they're anywhere near straight, you're going to start getting a weird looking face. So make sure they're at an angle of some sort. Alright, so let's get started in drawing this profile. Alright, so I'm going to draw in blue here. Just start with that, with that circle there. If you need to use a protractor, use a protractor. Or you can use these tools here in pretty much any drawing program and make that circle. All right, just make it as close to perfect as possible. Now we're going to then take our line here and we're going to cut it straight down right about here, all the way down to the chin. Now the reason why I like doing this is that it really helps to draw everything that you need to know where it's at. This is where the eyebrows are going to be, cutting in half and half. Now cut this in half again and cut that in half again. That's right about where the ear will start. Now the ear is still going to come up here up to the eyebrow and come down to about the bottom of the nose. You already know the shape of the ear because we learned how to draw it and simplify just like so. Now the, again the, the important part here, the hardest part I think to, to get is where the how the eye, relationship of the eyes, nose, and mouth from the side view. And so I like to imagine it like like an engine. Now remember it all matches up so you know the bottom of the nose is going to be in this section and the lips are going to be in this section here and then the chin. All that's going to be the same as from the front view. But trying to get where everything's going to be isn't easy the very first time. So again, remember, I like to imagine the curvature of where this line and this line meet right here, that curve, and kind of make it run parallel like that, like a straight line. If you then kind of mimic that same parallel line right here, you'll get a nice look to this ninja, this ninja face right here. Now what's important here, this is a common mistake that people will make when drawing from this side view. Try not to draw it going down so far. Remember, this is where the this is where the bottom of your nose is going to be. So draw that line up more. This is where it's going to start curving. But remember, you have the top of your nose is still going to be like right around here. And this is where the bottom of the nose is going to be. So following that curve, that's about where the nose is going to fall in. Now, as we continue drawing, how is it that we know how far out the face should go from the side? Well, one easy trick you can do is take this line to this line and cut it in half. And that gives you that kind of square shape. Take that same length and come out here with it like this and come straight down. About like that. That's about how far everything is going to come out. So once you know how far everything needs to come out, then you can start to draw all this where it needs to be. So I know it needs to come out to about right about here. I know the top of my nose needs to be about here, so I need to have a... I know the bottom of my nose needs to be somewhere around here. This line has to all come down straight like this. Now that's a good way to think about it, is going right to where the eye would kind of be. Now remember, eye is going to fall somewhere along this line here. That's where it would be like where the bottom of the eye is. Now think about the sphere, right? And so when you view the eye from the side view, it's still a sphere, and so you're cutting off Part of that sphere there you see and the eyes are the eyelashes are actually wrapping all the way around the eye right here on both sides 
and this is this is the pupil and the iris it all becomes like that so that's how to think about the eye from the side view because you're seeing part of a sphere so let's kind of get rid of some of this here draw that part of the sphere in there let's go ahead and cut it now I like to keep my eyes a little bit big from the side view that is long you can make them a little bit tall too if you want this has all come down to personal preference on how you want your faces to look. And then you can give each, each face and make it look a little different. That's the part of the eyelid there. I, kind of I like to kind of put one, one line over the other. So I kind of come up like this. Oops. Come up like this right here and then overlap that a little bit like that for the eyelid to kind of show the eyelid from the side view. You can kind of see how it kind of folds under. And then of course, you know, she doesn't have makeup on, so we'll give her some eyelash makeup here. Now what's important here is that the nose doesn't actually stop right there. You can draw it like that, it's kind of more Barbie doll look, but it's not going to be more of a comic look. It's more of a kind of, it could, it could be a comic, but it's going to be that more, you know, more of that, best way to describe is that kind of Barbie doll look, kind of kiddish, kind of more Disney-ish. So to get rid of that look, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the bridge of the nose and we're going to bring it up high because the bridge of the nose is way up here, see on the front view, between the eye itself. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our nose and know that, okay, the curvature is actually going to start right around mid-eye. We can kind of come like this here. And it's going to come down like this. And that's going to meet, that's going to make the shape of our nose right there. And the overall shape of the nose from the side view, besides this slope, this slope right here is really important. Remember, it starts from like the middle of the eye there, and it kind of starts sloping outward here to make that top. I might even make it a little bit higher. Now, the I think a nice shape for the for the nose here from the side view is coming from here, coming up like this, and at like a like a slight angle like that. And then keep in mind that the nostrils actually set quite far back, almost as far back as here. And so that's going to be like where your nostrils at. And you can put a little line here. And then this is going to come down to our lip, the philtrum. So part of the nose comes right down to the lip. Remember that's the philtrum of the lip. So the same spacing from the front view that you have here for the philtrum carries over to the side view. Now how to draw lips from the side view um, can be tricky at first, but if you can get it then it'll look really awesome. But before we do that, let's go ahead and draw the rest of the head in here. So the neck is gonna come off of the head here. The jaw is gonna have that same kind of curve. It's not gonna come straight down like this. It's gonna have the same kind of curvature to this line here, and it's gonna kind of curve like this. The face is a little bit longer from the side view than it's from the front view. Again, keeping that same line right here, I like to come up with my chin right here, just a little bit like that from the side view. So what you do is you draw it all the way down to the straight line, kind of draw it straight a little bit for, to this line right here, and then kind of start curving it up like that. Now all in here, you're gonna have this kind of curvature and the mouth is still gonna fit in the same area as from the front view. So kind of imagine these lines of the top of that lip carrying over here, and the bottom of that lip right here carrying over right here. All that's gonna still fit into it, but how you draw the mouth is important. So the mouth is only gonna go down as far as the nose here. Now there's different ways to kind of draw the face like this. Um, keep in mind not to be afraid because the mouth is going to come out, out to about right about here, a little bit less than the eye itself. That's where the edge of the mouth is going to come out. The nose, the nostrils have to come out to about that far as well. I know it seems weird at first when you first draw it, but trust me, just mark it like that and it's going to be correct. Now I like to keep that nose right here kind of coming up at a shape like that. This is the shape I like to kind of I like to draw for noses. There's different shapes you can go with um, that are cute. So let's start back here, just a little bit further, right about here, like this. Come up, kind of come in a curvature, then kind of come down like that. So it's not quite a straight straight line. It takes a little while to get used to drawing 
from the side view, but you'll get it. Next is the lips. So the lips, I like to kind of draw them off this line right here. I don't want them to, I don't want them to continue with that same shape. I want to kind of start rounding this upper lip right here. In the upper lips, I kind of have, just imagine this kind of like Pac-Man wedge right here. The upper lip is going to kind of have a shape like this here. And make sure it doesn't come down or it doesn't come straight across. You actually want to make it to where it comes up. So the whole entire upper lip is going to come up like this right here. This is important. That's going to be the basic shape of the upper lip as upward. And then the bottom lip is actually going to come off right here like so. And you have the indent for the uh, bottom. Then you have your chin right here. I'm going to come down a little bit more further. So we'll come like this and we'll have our chin. If you follow that kind of idea for, for the mouth, then it's, it's pretty easy from there. Now we have pretty much everything we need. Then it's just a matter of adding hair and things like that. Get rid of some of our guidelines here. The, I like with comic books, I like to start the neck way back here. All right, this is side view. This is where the shoulder be and stuff. That's how I like to do the neck, and it it looks good. I think um, it's really up to you how you want it, you know, how far forward you want to go, how realistic you want to get with it. But typically, with comic books, there's the necks are set a lot farther back than what you'd have in real life. So the the shape to kind of memorize for this part right here is you kind of have this shape like that. See it? that shape right there? Just remember that shape right there and you'll be all right. Let's go undo a couple of those lines. There we go. Let's go ahead and get, get rid of some of these guidelines now. Now there's different types of ellipse you can draw from the side view. And what I like to do is keep the shape the same here. But I like to come out with this lip right here and then kind of come down with that bottom lip like this. That makes for a pretty, a pretty cute side view of the lips here. Let's see what it looks like. Now as you look out at the face, if you feel like, hey, you know what, it feels like the face is coming out just a little bit too far, then that, that's fine. That's more of like a, maybe an ethnic person of some sort, but you can easily switch it and change it by just pulling the eye back a little bit farther or the nose curve a little bit farther and kind of pull it in and curve it up a little bit more. Right, so let's go ahead and take that the tip of the nose right here and make this line down to the chin straight again. And remember to pull our lips back. We can have the lips stick out a little bit further like that, but you notice it kind of looks a little more, uh, the ethnic kind of changes a little bit. We're also going to bring the nose down here a little bit. So all you have to do is just tuck the nose the nose bridge in here a little bit further and then come down and kind of swoop up like a slope right here and then we'll come down here to the nose like that we want our nostril oops I actually changed my color the nostril will kind of come down right about here right so now if we keep in mind that line from the tip of the nose there this here and then we start we take that that straight line right here to the chin to the nose remember we don't want our lips to go out farther than that and sometimes we don't even want them to even touch it maybe it's a little bit shorter but we're still gonna have the lip coming out like this here that angle is important for the lip kind of change the color of blue there a little bit and we have our bottom lip here like that So if you notice that the face just wasn't looking correct, those are the only things you really have to do to fix it. And there you have it. Now finally, one thing you can do to add a little more cuteness to the lips here. Is you can take this lip and kind of add a shape like this. It's kind of like a round shape right here. You 
You can even make the bottom lip a little bit bigger if you want. You can also bring the whole entire lips back just a little bit here. So let's go ahead and bring those back just a little bit. Have the curvature there, like so. Now you have that kind of more cute lip. Um, it, it's up to you whether you want that bigger bottom lip. Just make sure it kind of matches your character. If, you're, if your character from the front view uh, doesn't have really big a big bottom lip, you really don't want them to have a really huge bottom lip from the side view. You want it to be consistent. Right now it's just a matter of how the hair fits on the head. So the hair, the hair is going to fit a little bit higher. I'll, I'll go ahead and get rid of that later so it's not so distracting. Just a little bit higher than the scalp itself. And the hairline kind of comes right here like this. And this is where the hair is going to fit on the head. And it starts down here like this. So if you imagine that just being the hairline, then you can draw whatever hairstyle you want onto your character. And if we kind of keep that same kind of hairstyle um, where you kind of have that almost a part down the middle with the two with the two things like this on each side. And from the side view, you'll have your one part right here. I'm going to have it tuck into the ear. Now, naturally, sometimes you got to think about the, how, how will a character look from the side view versus front view. From the front view, you have her hair coming like this, and it's coming way right here in front of her eye, which might look cool from the front view. From the side view, it's actually going to be blocking her eye. You won't even be able to see her eye. It's going to be blocking like the side, pretty much the entire side of her face. Her hair is going to come like this, and it's going to be like that. You're not going to be able to see anything, you know, with the with the character's face. So what I typically do is even if that's how it looks on the front view, from the side view, I have it tucked into the ear. So basically it's like in between shots, the, the actress is tucking the hair behind the ear. You can also tuck the hair behind the ear in the front view if you want as well, but I, I usually don't do that. You can also have it kind of just coming down like right about here and covering the ear if you want to. It's up to you how you want to draw it. But those are just some ideas to think about. All right, so that's that part here. I'm going to have some of this kind of, actually I'm going to have it just kind of going like that. And then this back hair right here coming down, it falls down because of gravity. I'm going to have a couple of the hairs going like this, covering that front, that front part of the bang there. We'll make a hair about this long. And you might be able to see some of that front the other side right there going behind like that. Right, and that's it. So that's how you draw the face from the profile. Now just some really quick things. I have enough time here really fast to go ahead and ink over this and um, sped up time. Right, so when inking, keep in mind that you don't have to close all your lines. In fact, it's more aesthetically pleasing, I meaning it looks better often when you leave certain lines not connected. Notice how I didn't connect certain lines that are on the nose, I don't connect certain lines on the lips. Now, ink in itself, um, you know, when to draw a thick line, when to draw a thin line, you know, where to make the breakups and all that, all that can have its like whole entire course on its own because inking is really an art form of its own. That's why you have inkers in comic books. But here's some ideas, uh, hopefully, it helps you out. All right, so there you have it, the face in the profile view. All right, so stay tuned for your exercises.